Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Funny Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over a Nano Blitz, a very, very good Blitz coming out of form uh, coming out of a formation that is pretty much not used anymore in Madden. Um, and I feel like this is a perfect gear for this formation to be utilized. And the formation that we're gonna be talking about today is four six normal. Now, the Blitz that we're gonna be talking about is the rush outside out of the four six normal. Now, one of the reasons I say that this is a blitz or a formation that should be more utilized um, is because the package in it, the speed package to be specific, if you move your right stick to the right once, it'll bring up the speed package, which it puts an extra cornerback into this line, this middle linebacker position. So essentially it turns this formation into a some form of a dime formation out of the four six normal um you'll end up having four cornerbacks and two safeties which are in these two positions here and one one middle linebacker now the best part about this is it will also double as very good run defense as well because we're coming out with four d four four down linemen so if you're one of those people that struggles to stop the run this is going to be a decent formation for you to run if you run etch threats this is going to be a very good formation for you to run anything of that type of nature like this is going to be something where you should be comfortable being in especially with the extra speed um instead of having another extra outside linebacker you have a cornerback in this position that is going to be able to pretty much clamp down most of the routes that are on the field so for coach adjustments for this play specifically i'm just going to keep auto flip off just so that we can actually showcase the blitz against how i want to show you uh, but your auto alignment has to be base uh it just kind of helps with the blitzing angle and the quickness of your blitzer getting to the line now this is going to be one of the faster contained blitzes in the game and before i call the play i do i do want to make a note of something for those of you guys who don't know, when you're calling a play, the X's and the O's and the squares, a lot of people don't know the difference between them. The O's are the linebackers. The squares, if you guys are looking here, the squares, if you're looking here, the squares are your D line. Those are the, your defensive linemen that are in that formation specifically. And then the X's are your defensive backs. So for this blitz, you want your defensive back to be to be the one who's going to be blitzing so if if we're calling it with the x on the left side that's going to be the side that you're going to mainly be blitzing on if he's on the right side the right side is going to be the main side so we're going to just make sure that the running back is on the right side of the field just so i can go over a little bit a, a little bit of something that you guys might need to know when it comes to this blitz specifically so let's go ahead and call curl flat here and we're going to make sure that that blitz is coming off of that left edge now, as you can see, he creeps up to the line already. Now, that's one of the main things about this blitz that makes it really, really good is unlike other blitzers, other blitzes in the game where kind of like the dollar blitz, like the spinner blitz, not saying that it's a bad blitz. It's one of the best blitzes in the game. But if you base a line, um, which most people will tell you to do and you come out in that blitz to make it even better you could move the guys inside so that their blitzing angle their contain angle excuse me ends up closer to the line so instead of being in an angle like this the contain angle actually comes in now in this formation you don't need to do that but we are only sending it from one side but that the side that we're sending it on moves up right next to the line already so we're going to go ahead and send the blitz one time i'm going to go ahead and user blah, blah 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 let's just go ahead and set it up as you can see everything is set up and okay i actually might have missed a step so let's run that back one more time as you can see cameron hayward is supposed to crash down not crash out so let's do that one more time and we're gonna hover right above that center oh let me make sure i'm containing let me, let me just make sure it's set up right so you see how cameron hayward is coming inside and as you can see it's one of the fastest contained blitzes in my opinion i don't know I don't know i don't know why but this man just comes in absolutely screaming as you can see boom absolutely humming at the quarterback very 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 extremely fast blitz there's not much that you can do to actually stop this um unless you're blocking that running back on that left side specifically because if you block him on if you block him on the opposite side and we're i'm, I'm going to showcase this as well if you block them on that opposite side while we are sitting here containing even if we don't have a guy blitzing on that side you can still get 
that pressure where he's going to end up kind of he runs too fast pretty much for for the offensive player to not get confused by what's going on there so he comes in so fast that by the time he comes in if a lot of people are trailing back in the pocket and if you trail back in the pocket you're going to end up getting an insta shed but he comes in so fast out of this play specifically that you if you're if you don't have like that elite pocket presence that i talk about all the time this is gonna this is gonna be coming home a lot now the only thing that you do need to do to make this completely just not work for the running back blocking is just man up the opposite side blitzer to that running back and you're going to be able to go ahead and pretty much create crazy crazy pressure let me make sure i'm containing so again we're only sending five here but that opposite side linebacker that was blitzing is now manned up on that running back okay we ended up accidentally keeping that running back route out but let's run that back one more time this time we're going to make sure that that running back is blocking and now because that's going to be the case that running back is not going to be able to uh stop the blitz it's going to be coming in too fast and because we're manned up he essentially doubles as an like an opposite side blitzer as well so even with that running back blocking sending five people this blitz just comes in way too fast it's an extremely extremely good blitz and if you guys take this guy just to make it a little bit easier for you guys if you guys take this guy after you crash down and contain and i will go over the blitz setup specifically but i'm just showcasing how good this blitz could possibly be but if you take this guy man, man him up and you see how your line your lineman is in a contain if you guys are running edge threats you can take this guy and just blitz him instead of keeping him on that contain and once you do that it's, you won't have that extra that extra help off of the edge but the blitz is still going to come in just as fast and just in case they do block it your edge threats or your double or nothings or your el toro is going to sit there and it could potentially get a lot a lot of pressure regardless if the blitz is coming in or not so for the setup it's very very simple extremely simple so if you have auto flip on it doesn't matter which side um so say i flip the play right if you have auto flip on that whichever side that comes down as you can see Edmonds just came down that wasn't my user i'm gonna go i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it again just so you guys could see uh Edmonds come down for the blitz so whichever side is coming down for the blitz that's going to be your main side of the blitz all you're going to need to do is crash down and then contain that's literally it and then you can send the blitz as is but obviously you're going to need a little bit of extra help um, in pass coverage so for the blitz specifically i'm going to take this outside blitzer and i'm going to man him up but the blitz is already set up you don't need to do anything else except for hover in between the gap of the same side that you're sending the blitz so i like to be as close to the center as possible uh without without too, without bumping the defensive tackle too much i like to be as close as possible to that center and as you can see oh that time he actually Cameron Hayward actually went towards the outside there, which that is one of those little fluky things that happens with this blitz because they're so close together. But again, that's literally the setup for the blitz. So for those of you guys who are new to Madden and need a little bit of extra help when it comes to setting up stuff, all you're going to need to do, and as you can see, it, it, it did the same thing again. All you're going to need to do is crash your D line down. So it's left on the directional pad. And then with your right stick, crash that down. And then you're going to want to contain which is right bumper and right bumper and then whichever guy doesn't creep up to the line you can take him and put him on any type of zone that you want you can use or him you can do whatever the case may be it does not matter i'm going to man him up to the running back you know because a lot of people like their wheel their wheel routes and then i'm going to take my user make sure he's in a blitzing angle here and then the blitz should absolutely oh he again they're just they're jamming up on each other which is kind of messing the blitz up um and i'll showcase that replay but we did showcase the blitz coming in coming home pretty much almost every single time very very fast but cameron hayward just keeps on just kind of messing the blitz up so another thing you guys could do to make sure that that doesn't happen simply just crash your d-line in that's it crash your d-line in do the same do the same hover and you still should get the same fast 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 pressure as you can see it's fast it's extremely extremely fast 
so fast that if you don't have a very good animation uh throwing animation you could easily get sacked almost instantly from time to time so this is going to be something that you guys are going to want to use and if they're and if this formation specifically had uh if this formation specifically was a formation kind of like the 461 i'd be running this non-stop because i'd literally just send pressure not every single play because it's so the pressure is just so good hopefully this video helps you guys that are running a, a playbook with 4-6 i'll leave a link down in the description wherever you can find this specific play uh but yeah if you guys are rocking this if you guys haven't been rocking this and this isn't your playbook please give it a give it a chance let me know how it works for you uh because this is definitely one of the faster blitzes in the game my name is Pony Montana. If you guys enjoyed the tip, please leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you guys want any extra help, leave a comment down below. I'll try to find something for everybody. And if you guys want even more help, uh, join the Discord. Everything is down in the description below. The Discord, the Twitter, the Twitch, everything. So if you guys want to support a little bit more, that's where you, that's where you guys should do it. And I'm out of here. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.